Hey, Claire, did you see my message earlier? Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. We've got the flat and everything. We've been to the clerk's office. So the, the, the fence was made about 20 years ago, and it infringes upon what the actual property line is. but they just really needed somebody with more experience. But it's okay, we'll get it next time. City bike. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you just put the key in and you got it. I'm sorry, your pants are against dress code. I can't let you know. What? Sweatpants. They're against the dress code. No, no, no. I wear these to the office on the rag. I don't make the rules, I just enforce them. So please step out of line. Um, so nobody in there is gonna know, all right? So, shh. What if just we, just like, just look, we just say like, they're in dress pants. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah? Yeah, come here. Come on, yeah? Already do not, do, do, do not whoa, touch whoa, me. Man. Do not touch hey. me. <laughs> I am a lawyer, bro. No, 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 no. no. I know my rights. I have a right to fucking go in step there. Step out of the line. Would you like me to step out of line? This is the fucking line, okay? These pants are from Japan. These pants are worth more than you make in a fucking week, okay? I've asked you to step out of line. And I'm step asking you to get out of the fucking way. Yo, bro, are you Steve Noah? Right, you played for, no, 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 for the Cleveland Browns, man, in 2004, then they cut him. Yeah, Who the fuck suck. is that? This guy is fucking no one. He's got a shitty job, <laughs> just like checking oh IDs, congratulations, oh at, a, at a shitty fucking club. It's <laughs> fucking shoelaces let's, let's, don't let's even Let's go match. to the Wolfpack anyway, man. This place <laughs> sucks anyway. Let's go. Come on. Okay, Come okay. on. I'm, oh, that, I'm sorry. You have a good night, asshole. Keep it, okay? You, oh. You earned it. You're very good. You, you stand up very tall. <laughs> oh. I'm very generous. Oh! oh. oh. oh.
After one year, a marketing manager in a premier fitness center. Your resume is very different than what we're typically looking for, uh, but it's interesting. And you certainly know your stuff. Yes, I'm, I'm very familiar with all of the material. Being a paralegal here is the foundation of our firm, and it's a doorway to a career in law. Our compensation is above market average. We have an excellent benefits program. And if you excel in what you do, we can even help you find a way to finish your bachelor's degree. If you get the position, of course. Irene, uh, Bernard's on line two for you. Oh, thank you, Nathan. Stephen, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to take this call. Uh, Nathan, this is Stephen. Stephen is applying for our paralegal position. Um, <clears throat> hi, hi, I'm Nathan. Nathan, can you show him to the waiting room, please? Uh, sure. Uh, don't forget about your uh, your 2 p.m. candidate. Stephen, you can wait outside. Uh, Nathan will be with you in just one sec. So, Steve, I will show you to the waiting room. Um, actually, actually, do you mind if we step in here real quick? Just, you know, real quick. It's, it's fine. There's nobody using this right now, I don't think. Um, look. I had no idea that you were interviewing with us today, and uh, I am really sorry about Friday night. I'm, I'm sure you remember me. I was really drunk. I had too many shots at my friend's bachelor party, and I was uh, belligerent and a mess, and I feel really bad about anything that I might have said or done. And uh, Did Irene say anything about me? Look. I just talked to her. She thinks that she has a really good feeling about you. But there is one other person coming in who does have prior legal experience. And I gotta run. But um, I hope it all works out. Waiting room's down the hall. Excuse me, are you here for the interview? Yes, I'm Carl, here for the 2 p.m. Are, are they running late? I just gotta pick up the kids at 3.30. Carl? Unfortunately, the position has been filled. They're no longer conducting interviews. So as director of security, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Well, I, I've had this scheduled for weeks. 
please. Like, this is my first interview in months. Is there some way I can talk to the hiring manager? Partners unavailable at the time to speak with you. I'm going to need you to leave the premises. Well, well, I don't understand why I need to be escorted out of Carl, the building. It's for security purposes. I don't make the rules. I just enforce them. If you won't leave, I will have to physically remove you. Okay. 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 He didn't even show up. It's his second time. Well, is his son still in the hospital? Okay, all right, well, thank you. Well, Stephen, you're not the type of candidate we typically hire for this sort of position, but I believe that you're honest and hardworking, and we need somebody to start as soon as next week, so consider this a verbal offer. You can talk to HR about pay and benefits, but do you have any questions for me now?